you can either believe that we all need to work together and that nobody should have a leg up over other people, sort of we should have a democracy, people have a right to have a say, or you believe that some people have the right to rule over everybody else and that the world works better when you hand things over to those few people to run things. I am staunchly in the democratic camp. I believe that we, you know, we don't always do it right when we all work together at all. We make mistakes, but then we can correct those mistakes. But the minute we hand it over to the judge in Texas who don't, doesn't think we can have contraception, or to Marjorie Taylor Greene, or to Jim Jordan, or to Elon Musk, the people who think that they can control everything, by definition, authoritarian governments are bad for the majority of people. Even if the person starts out being benevolent, pretty soon nobody dares to contradict them and they start to think that they are infallible and they go down, you know, kind of go off the, the place where everybody else is and they become uh, unreasonable dictators. That it, it just, it's, it always happens. So at the end of the day, the way to look at this moment and the way to look at all these issues is, are they promoting the idea that we all can have a say in our government? and that we can treat everybody fairly? Or are they saying we're gonna hand everything over to a very few people to make the decisions for the rest of us? And you know, people sometimes insist that I'm a shill for the Democrats and for the Republicans. People on the, on the left don't like me as a shill for the Republicans. And the answer is I'm a shill for democracy. I'm a shill for any party that will protect democracy. And right now, the Republicans have just left re dem democracy behind and have gone full autocracy. And if they would just come back to their history, they could actually contribute a lot to the way we think about all the many problems that are around us.